One year old boy from Saudi Daisy is living with a rare disease, something that over time could trap him inside his own body. Stephanie Sanastasi explains what the disease is and why the boy's family is urging the public to learn more about it. Stephanie. Latricia Kelfin, the name of the disease is Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, for short FOP. Most people know it as Stone Man Syndrome. It's a rare disease that turns muscle to bone, affecting one in two million million people worldwide. Simple tasks such as eating and breathing become extremely difficult and two people in our area are living with this right now. One year old Samson Hickson lives in Saudi Daisy with his mom, dad and older brother. He's full of life, always smiling, yet living with something many people don't even know exists. It's just random, rare. It's not uh, hereditary or anything like that. Um. <laughs> a rare disease known to most as Stone Man Syndrome. For Samson's mom, Candace, the diagnosis came as a shock. To find out that your kid has something that you can't do anything about, um, it's devastating. And there's no cure for it. Any falls, um, any immunizations, um, even just getting sick um, can cause his immune system to go into overdrive and just instead of his muscles repairing like they normally would, um, his body is triggered to grow bone instead. That's why the Hickson family takes extra precautions, padding their house with mats and cushions. Luckily, Samson hasn't had any major falls yet. It is hard because you can't just go and pick him up and throw him up in the air. There's this thing in the back of your mind knowing that if he falls, if he trips, if he wiggles in your arms and if you drop him, it's something that he may never heal from. Wendell Moses is a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Children's Hospital at Erlanger. He studies the disease. Moses says there are specialists working in Pennsylvania trying to find a cure for people like little Samson. They have found the gene that causes all three of these conditions. And so um, by finding the gene, now they hope to do some form of genetic modification or at least blocking the effects of that gene. Over time, doctors say the disease can basically trap a person inside their own body, forming a second skeleton. And although that could be a reality for this one year old, his mom and dad will work every day doing their best to protect him. We decided this is part of life, but it's not going to be our whole life. This Saturday is Samson's first birthday. To raise awareness for the disease and to raise money for research, the first ever Samson Strong 5K will happen that day at the Tennessee River Park. For the time of the race and where you can register, head to our website, newschannel9.com. Kelvin. Thanks, Stephanie. Samson's mom tells us they received his official diagnosis when he was about five months old. He visited a specialist in Philadelphia. Doctors there say right now Samson has about 80% mobility 